You better hear. If you mention that you're from South End, you know, you're going to most likely get like a condescending snigger about White Van Man or um, Essex Girls or The Only Way is Essex. But I think there's this whole other narrative that kind of needs to be documented. But where is it captured? Where's this history captured? I thought, you know, basically it's in these alternative publications. And over the last four years, I've collected up fanzines and independent magazines that we made over the last 50 years or so between kind of 1971 to 2021. Okay, so this is Mushroom that was actually produced in 1971. Local people doing all sorts of things. They set up a claimants union. It was like an anarchist group. They set up an adventure playground where the um, dog track is now. All kinds of things that were going on. So then we have, this was, this was my own fanzine, New Crimes, that I produced from 1980 to 84, I believe, very much influenced by, you know, the whole punk thing. You can see we've got a picture of Crass on the cover. I think there was a whole, you know, there was a whole energy around fanzines that was happening, you know, around that time in South End. And this is Lou Williams, does the girls in library. A lot of people don't realise the important lineage that has happened before, like even me coming here, I was like, right, I'm going to start a zine library and I'm going to put on a zine fair, but then actually there's so much stuff that's already happened, it's just been really hard to document. So it's important that you make this book because people can then see like the amazing lineage that like we're really thankful for to make a point that like this comes from an important history of zine making that's still going on and like to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm.